Hello fellow students and educators. My name is Kayla and I'm going to show you how to download and install more than 60 Bentley software applications for free. Okay, let's get started. Go to any internet browser. For example, I am using Google Chrome and type in Bentley Education. As you can see, several options are shown in the taskbar. We want to select education.bentley.com. I have also included the link to Bentley Education Portal here in the video description. To view the software options and start the downloading process, we will have to log in to the Bentley system by clicking on this link in the upper right corner of the screen. After logging in, you will see a screen that looks like this. For us first-time users, we need an active email account. Bentley does recommend using your school account. Next, select the Register Now link located right here. By selecting Register Now, I am opening a dialog page where some general information is required. Here, I am entering my email address, first and last name, country, region, and a password. I recommend creating a strong password, but one that you will remember easily. Once all the fields are filled out, go ahead and select Create Account. I now need to check the inbox of the email account that I registered with to get my Bentley one-time verification code. Once you have this code, copy it over to the Bentley Education Portal login and then enter your email address and password. You can see that I've successfully logged in because my name is in the upper right hand corner. From here, we want to use the down arrow to the right of your name and then select the My Dashboard option. Scroll down to the center of the page and on the right side you'll see a My Profile tab. Within My Profile, there are several drop-down menus. At a minimum, all of the drop-downs with an asterisk must be completed, otherwise you will not be able to download any of the software. Next, I'm going to select all of the areas of interest that will support my studies. I'm doing this because the program will create cool learning tools for and software packages that complement my areas of interest. To complete this step, I am now selecting the Save option on the bottom center of the screen. After saving, I am ready to start the actual download process by clicking on the Software tab on the top center of the web page. Scrolling down, I am seeing several software applications and have the option to download any of these. For my purpose today, I am going to download MicroStation. I have to scroll pretty far to get there, so I am opting to use the drop-down menu, where I can select the Model and Visualization tab to get to the MicroStation download. If you did not use your school ID, or if the system did not recognize your email address as an educational institute, a pop-up will appear asking you to upload your student ID card. The system will immediately recognize and validate your eligibility. Once your credentials are validated, you will see a brief display of congratulations. If the system was not able to verify your student credentials, a link will be provided and additional support can be requested. Again, if you used your school email, the credential verification step may not be required. To finish up, select Download and a new tab is now visible. You can see the standard information has been auto-populated. These are the recommended settings and includes the latest version of the software that you are downloading. Lastly, I click download one final time and I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching.